at the Brandy Well. This all-Premier Division contest proved to be a one-sided affair as Derry City continued their recent improvement. Mark Timlin giving an early indication as to why he is their top scorer this season. Quickly onto the loose ball and setting up Barry McNamee with the follow-up. United struggling to clear. Killian Morrison came in for the cup-tied Kieran O'Connor and he had quite a game. He easily beat Jason Marks. And his delightful delivery was dispatched by Patrick McElhenney. That's his first goal of the year. City in cruise mode here. In the driving rain, Timlin showed why he has scored seven goals in his last 11 games. He swept past Alan Byrne, but then was denied by the post. Very much a winger turned poacher for the northwest side. There's a new one-way system in Brandywell and it all heads towards the United goal. Again, Morrison had marks in his pocket and his shot brought out the best in Schlingerman. <laughs> Peter Hutton's side had good claims for a penalty. McElhenney putting Philip Lowry in the clear. Looked like he was taken down by Schlingerman, but referee Paul Chute didn't agree. There'll be lots of debates about that decision. It didn't really matter, though, because the second goal was as inevitable as a rainy day in Brandywell. McElhenney's shot found the gap in the wall. Schlingerman's save deserved better than a tap-in from Morrison. Incredibly, that's his first goal of the year. Lowry's strong run set up number three. Timlin was halted by Robert O'Reilly's tackle, but Barry McNamee was there to find the bottom corner. So what was Sean Thornton doing, turning his back to the shot? City with some momentum now. They could be dark horses for the cup. There was still time for Dean Jarvis to get in on the act. Weaving past Michael Daly and Tiernan Mulvena like a knife through butter, O'Reilly cleared off the line and then Aaron McInef's follow-up was mighty close. Well, as easy a win this as Derry have had all year against an abject draw side that had one chance near the end, Brennan's free kick tipped over by Ger Doherty. No, I thought we, we ran out very convincing winners. Uh, it was a tough game up until we probably got the second. Uh, Doherty, to be fair, and worked hard. And, uh, but no, we're just late to get in the next round. We started off OK, you know, they had lots of ball, we were just dealing with the movement and stuff, but just they got a simple enough goal, got a wide in the first half, and he just got ahead of us on, on, the, on the, the ball in from the wide area. Mc, uh, McElhaney got a good header. But the movement was better than us. We didn't match them in midfield. We didn't get enough. We did have a good week. We travelled to Galway, you know, and then we did travel up here tonight. So a little bit of legginess as well to take them into it. But once they got molded and they were flying, absolutely flying, we were well off them tonight, I have to say.